Hello and welcome back to another video. I am here this time with a check-in. I haven't made a video for I think like a week now and I kind of went on like a rampage of a video per day for like five days or something and that was a little bit much um, but it was also really fun and uh, it just so happened <laughs> that the update came out and I had a bunch of stuff already scheduled before that update came out and so I just like just pumped them all out at that time but yeah so I usually kind of try for this one a week type thing and um, this week I have kind of just been chilling but I've got a couple things that I just want to mention in Dungeons of Eternity that uh, are pretty exciting to me and I don't think I've really gone over and kind of reviewed since the update. Um, it was more first looks and uh, discussions and uh, that kind of like, I don't know, not as much gameplay and not as much practical Dungeons of Eternity type content. So now that I've got this, um, I'm going to do it. And I also, I recorded a check-in a few days ago and it turns out I didn't record the check-in because I just totally failed and uh, the video broke down because MetaQuest Developer Hub hate me, hates me and yeah, unfortunate stuff. But here we are with my level 60. You can see that this is actually the Sandstorm cosmetic, which here I'm going to just go into solo play here and show that off a little bit. Okay, back in here, um, you can actually see these graphics might not look quite as good and that is because I was using enhanced or I, I turned off enhanced graphics so you can see here I went to visuals and then turned off enhanced visuals uh, for the sole purpose of being able to uh, bring up basically multitask while I'm playing a video game I can also watch a video or like respond to discord messages or whatever the heck I want to do with three additional monitors uh, or one additional monitor or whatever um, and I'll I'll show that right now as a demonstration I'm gonna try not to like give away all my info maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut out stuff but I'll try not to cut out anything but yeah so here I can open this menu and you can see this is just the Dungeons of Eternity screen like it shows that I'm in the game I can quit I can resume all these other options this is the universal menu here so I can go to whatever I need to from that um, but you can see I have my controllers right here. It shows my controllers in my hands. If I click out of, like I'm not shooting at this. If I click on this, I'm kind of like controlling this. But if I click in the game, anywhere pointing in the game, it turns back to in the game. And then when I move around, the screen moves with me. And so I can watch a video and I can put this screen wherever I want. So it can be up there and then I can be back in my game and kind of like run around forward while this is off to the side over there doing its thing and it, like sometimes I'll listen to podcasts or uh, like video podcast type things or just like a show that I don't really need to pay attention to or whatever the heck I want up there I can put it there I can put it wherever I want down here up here behind me you can even like click out you can go back and like the video or the audio will play in the background while you're in the game and you can click right back in there you go you're right back in it um and like it, it won't stop like cut out the video and bring it back up it'll just be like a seamless process it's called seamless multitasking for a reason and i'll actually i'll show how to get to that real quick just so people know so in the settings you go to settings and you go to experimental and you go to the bottom here to seamless multitasking check that box i believe it requires a restart so maybe you have to restart your computer or <laughs> your computer your uh your vr headset which is a computer but yeah you know um i do swipe typing too but there's that stuff meta ai i'll probably start using that pretty soon because ai is pretty helpful wherever it is now um but yeah that's cool stuff i will close out to this and but yeah you can see i was opening three tabs i, I should have just shown there here I'll, I'll open the three tabs again we got three tabs and then if i go over here and like click buttons then i can come back into the game or or maybe not maybe it's just broken oh there we go okay yeah it just took a second but you can see i'm i'm running around i am recording and i am looking at other screens all at the same time there's a little bit of choppiness you might not see it in the video um but with three screens there's kind of bound to be choppiness, especially if you actually are streaming a video. Um, but yeah, that's just like a really cool thing that I've been doing and I wanted to kind of show that off. 
Um, and yeah, it's just it's an amazing quest update that works really well in Dungeons of Eternity and basically any VR game. But I wanted to show it for Dungeons of Eternity specifically. And uh, yeah, you can close out of the browser stuff when you're done. Again, I recommend one monitor because, or, or one display, one floating display, because it's just not gonna take as much processing power and then you won't lag as much in the game. Um, and I actually even more so recommend to just stay in the game and like close out of the screen uh, by clicking on that universal menu button, which you can't see, but I'm, I'm clicking on that uh, or barely touching it. And yeah, if you can just like pop in and here you are, you've got this stuff and then when you want to hear something, you can pop out and pop in and it's not quite perfectly seamless because it still like takes you out of the game. You got to click back into the game to go back into it, um, but it still works pretty well. And again, you can put it on top of you if you really want it to just like be there and not really there at the same time. Um, and you can just <laughs> look up if you ever need to, but yeah, cool stuff. Um, and again, that I would recommend if you are doing that and you have a Quest 3 that you check off the enhanced visuals or check it down, uh, turn it off because you're one need, one going to want to need as much processing power as you can for doing both tasks at once. Um, but I mean, you can always try with the enhanced visuals and maybe, maybe it won't work, who knows. But that's a thing. And you can do it on the Quest 2 too. I just don't know how capable it is, especially because Dungeons of Eternity specifically is a really intensive game for the Quest, an intensive standalone game. It kind of like pushes the limits of the hardware. So it's uh, <laughs> probably best that you turn that down if you really want to watch a video or do something. But yeah, aside from that, um, I don't think there's any other boring settings I need to go over, but there is this exciting thing, which I have found my first spear and I've got this cool double dagger loadout and I think this is actually pretty sweet. So I've got um, my avatar right here. Um, you can see all these cosmetics. It comes from the Sandstorm, the new Sandstorm pack, which this is the Desert Hood. Uh, it's all called Desert, but it's basically like the Sandstorm pack, the free Sandstorm pack that you can get just by finding cosmetics throughout the game. And I mean, I also got like a pumpkin head and some other imp horns and just other random things. Explore, uh, well, I think I already had that. Here's another imp horns three, pumpkin head. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, you've got all those options. I do like this desert hood, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that for now. Even though I should be, I should be like spooky right now. I am a skeleton, so that's kind of spooky. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that because it's cool. And show off this chest thing. That's the desert garb. And the there's no accessories for the desert, I don't think. But there's pants, the desert leggings. There's uh, no accent color for it. I'm just using the blue accent color, which doesn't really show on the clothes, but it does show on the skeleton which i think is is just like a cool balance and then the feet which is actually kind of a bummer the, the hands i mean i got the skeleton hands and then the the boots it's a bummer that they don't have sandstorm boots never mind i lied i totally lied they do <laughs> so but i i do think the i don't know the skeleton shoes are just like are nat natural bones those are kind of cool. I, I do kind of wish I could see that, but that's okay. It's cool to see the hands. Um, but yeah, no, the, the feet. I don't know if I want the feet, these cool patron boots, or the sandstorm boots to match the outfit. I'm going to do... I'm gonna go shoeless. Why not? No shoes for me. And yeah, maybe I'll have some better grip with my bones. And what do I have? The, the loadout. I'm going to go to the exo points first. To just no, no, loadout first. Probably better. Um, so I've got this spear. This is my first spear I found. And <laughs> it happens to be a really good spear. Uh, critter damage doesn't really matter, but fire is awesome. And they just fixed it so that fire, explosion, and area damage, they all do this essentially the same thing, but they all now give you a kill. Before, when you killed something with explosion or fire damage, it did not count for your kill but now it does count for your kill. So that's pretty awesome. If you're trying to grind the leaderboards or you just want to have more kills than your friends in the lobbies, um, that's awesome. So I'm not like 
a avoiding fire as much as I used to, even though I still use fire a lot before. Um, it's just even more of a reason to use it, because I think it's the strongest as well. But now I got daggers over here. They're just basically the same daggers. They're I think I found them when I was like level 50 or below. So they're not amazing daggers, but they look cool and they're the same. So I like that. Um, I actually, I think I made a video with these specifically. But yeah, so cool thing, cool new thing you can do with these daggers is this. Um, you can hold it by anywhere. Anywhere on the dagger, you can hold it, including not on the dagger. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty odd. Uh, definitely a bug. Well, almost definitely a bug. I actually like this bug. So um, I'm going to play a game like this with my ranged daggers. And it, it would be cool if they were like circling. I think Blade and Sorcery does a, a thing like that where you have magic and you have like these blades circling in front of you and you can throw them and, and do them. But I think it's cool because they, they don't like hit each other when I do this. They only hit each other when they actually hit each other. And so it's like I'm magically grabbing onto these. I wish I could do it with the other end, but whatever. This is still pretty cool or something so yeah i'm gonna do this and then i also have the spear on my back just in case and if i actually get into like a rough situation then i'm, I'm not gonna like go all the way down flip around the dagger and like do all that confusing kind of make it work also it's weird you have to like actually flip it around for it to work or how is it? okay yeah so it just it naturally goes to your hand so much but and if you just let it fall, you don't just grab it. But if you turn it around, that's the only way you can grab it, I think, is how that works. But kind of cool. You can, like, flip it around and throw it like that from the dagger, from the blade. Kind of sweet. And again, you can do this. So, <laughs> interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't really know. Not much else. Uh, I'm gonna do... Well, there is a decent amount of other stuff. Uh, I don't know. So Sandbox, it's cool, but it's not... I'm gonna do Sandbox. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do Sandbox. I, it, It's just easier to show stuff, and I, I got a limited time. I would do a dungeon, but Sandbox is just easier. And so this, there's another reason for Sandbox being nice for content creators like me where I want to put out this video of this specific thing and just kind of test something out. Now I can do it easily. Um, so I'll just show a few things. I always like Underworld as opposed to all these other colors. Underworld's just the nicest theme. I like that. I wish the they added a realm called Halloween or like uh, dark or I don't know. Just the theme that is in the outpost right now. I hope that they add that as a realm. Um, difficulty hardest um, default loadout I'm gonna use these hazards nothing I could make a pit but I don't I don't have a long sword right now pickups just default whatever it gives to me from killing enemies um, I'll just do skeleton actually oh, I, I wanted to show hmm I'll just do skeleton warriors and skeleton archers and just do like five of them and it'll just just make it simple uh kind of want it's really fun to kill critters these three guys these four guys killing critters and i guess even like bugs and lost souls with spears um but that's okay i'm just i'm gonna kill skeletons it's it's simpler that way and i'll just do five why not there we go, and uh, oh, I didn't even go over my exo points. Um, I think my exo points were reasonable. Um, here, I'll, I'll cut to going over my exo points. Or, okay, exo point. I have haste right now. I don't want haste. I just want to have just fall damage. Where is it? There we go. Decrease fall damage. And I have the mind perk of stillness. That's perfect. Um, critical doesn't that's not perfect i actually want um no i'll use critical critical is not ideal for this loadout the throw perk might is probably best for this loadout but that's okay um armor reduce melee damage that's fine with me so i'll stick with it vitality is probably the best still but armor works for me and then i will slowly walk over here because 
I no longer sprint with my haste, but that is okay. And, oh man, I gotta select the freaking sandbox. No. There we go. And launch. Perfect. And here we are. Okay. Back into the sandbox. So, uh, there, yeah, there's a couple couple neat little changes that happened since, and I haven't really reviewed much, but again, I'm going to create these encounters, default loadout, do these three, these two guys, five of them, and then start this encounter. It doesn't start until I proceed into the area over there, so got my spear, got my daggers, and I'm going to hold on to my daggers like a weirdo. See how this works. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. Yeah. Nice. He's not dead. Perfect. Oh, see, I'm gonna get hurt by these archers. Not that much. Not that oh. Okay. Yeah, let me just kill all these archers first. And the cool thing with the archers is now oh, I should have should have shown it on them, but that's okay. And I don't think I can show anything like particularly awesome with this. Um, I guess I can like block. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of block with these things, but it's very hard. That was the fire damage, by the way, the reason that they fell down. This is... Oh, shoot. Oh! Ah! Wait, if I stand still, I should be good. Okay. There we go. Throw that. Kill. Die. 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 Oh! No, okay. He killed me. Well, that was me being careless. Um ignore what just happened. I, I never die. Okay. Uh, create encounter. Oh, I kind of wanted to replay it. No, but no, that's fine. Um, I'll show how I can do that same thing and efficiently do it. So there we go. So I'll start with the spear. Chuck the spear at one of these guys and go bam. Kill that. Ooh, we got frozen arrows. That is not good. Uh-oh. Okay, kill that dude. Actually, I don't think I fully killed him. Okay, yeah, I didn't. So, kill that. Perfect. Go over here. And then, it's it's weird. So, you can grab the spear from your back and pull it out like, like this. And then, but you can throw it like this too. So, that <laughs> throws it straight, even though, like, physically, or, or I guess... Uh, based on physics, this shouldn't really happen the way it does, but it kind of just does. So that's what you can do if you prefer to throw these things. Like, I'm going to grab it from my back and throw it right away. And sometimes it does that. You kind of have to, like, uh, aim it correctly to go straight at the guy. If the auto-aim, like, takes over, then it just goes straight. So that's one way to throw it. Uh, the other way is just flip it around and throw it like this, or you can throw it... Oop, I dropped it. You can just throw it like this, where you take it out from your back, and then you chuck it forward like that. Whatever works for you, works. Um, and, yeah, one thing I didn't really show, let me replay this last encounter one more time, and just show with these archers. I should have just done archers this time, because I wanted to show specifically. Okay, so he's blocking. Oh, come on, block, block, block. Okay, where's this? I gotta find this other... Oh shoot, I might die here. Okay, we're good. This guy block! Okay, see see that? So, he just blocked the dagger with his bow. And that one just kind of went through him. Let's see if he can block it again. No, that just went straight for his head. But basically before... Oh yeah, you can see that guy parried it. So basically when you throw your weapons now, and it hits their... It hits their weapon instead of them just like not reacting or being affected by it they now stagger which is really really cool um and definitely one of my favorite parts of this update even though it was like a pretty awesome update otherwise it's just that particularly is in my opinion the best part about it uh just like that i guess it's a bug fix but it's more like an improvement uh with the enemy reactions and I, I would love it if that happened. Actually, I'll, I'll show this here. So we're going to do, I'll do tier, whatever, I'll do tier four. And it doesn't matter at this point with when I don't do the default loadout, if I do 
the long swords, then tier four long swords only. That's going to be a, a tier four long sword basically. So it'll be just as hard, uh, maybe not quite, but basically just as hard as if I did tier seven with long swords only. Then I'm going to do um, skeleton warriors only, uh, just to kind of like prove what this is. And uh, actually, I'll do one skeleton warrior and one um, skeleton boss. Add the enemy. There we go. Start this encounter. So here we go. I got this long sword that's not huge, but it's not tiny either. So wherever these enemies might come from, I'm ready. Actually, though, oh, what the heck? Here we go. So watch this. It can't kick me. But okay. Yeah, so my parry now with a long sword. When you parry, it staggers them. It's only with long swords, which is kind of weird. And and you don't have to actually parry. You can just hold your weapon there, which is kind of silly. But if they like they've got the foundation of this now. So if they make it so that you can parry and then kill the enemy. Um or, or like, if, if you can parry with your swing, if, if this this whole motion range of, oh gosh, that was weird. If this range of motion and like speed that I swing affects how parried they get or how staggered they get, that would be so, so freaking cool. Um, but it only happens with the longsword and it is just like one, it's not variable basically. And I could just like keep tapping his weapon and he could just keep getting stunned. So it's, it's kind of funny, honestly. Uh, and there's no, like, weapon collision. It's kind of just if you touch the weapon, that's just what happens to it. You, you can feel a tap and a vibration, but it's not collision, kind of like the weapons with other things. But yeah, interesting stuff. And that's kind of how the parrying works or the blocking works with other enemies now, too. I don't know where the, the big guy was, though. Where's the big guy? Big guy, big guy, big guy. Here we go, skeleton boss. I thought I spawned him, but maybe I didn't. Here we go, different sword, because it gives you a random sword. Would be nice if you could see the exact perks that you got on the sword. Where actually is he, though? Oh, down here, okay. Throwing fireballs. But yeah, so you can see, this does not, you can't block. Like, you could hear a little ching, ting. Yeah, so he's hitting the sword, but nothing's happening. And it doesn't matter whether or not I swing at it or not. And he's probably going to kill me, so I'm just going to kill him. Oh, or not. I'm going to fail epically. Oh, okay. Well, interesting. The, the collision, too. I don't, I don't like that. I wish that they, they fixed it so that colliding with an enemy doesn't just automatically hurt you. Um, but instead, they actually have to, like, touch their weapon to you or... or Maybe it would make sense if they had to swing their weapon onto you to actually do damage, just like we have to do to them. But whatever, that works. Um, I think that's basically basically it that I really wanted to show off and go over. Um, swords and shields, kind of cool. I I guess I'll, I'll go over this real quick too. Not that it's really much different. I'll just do one one dude with a shield and a sword. Oh, swords down here. No, I got two swords. Yeah kind of cool um but yeah i got swords okay so with the shield now the absorb perk works which is pretty awesome so basically if you block then actually let, me, let him hurt me for a second okay so i have 84 health this might be oh yeah it's the absorb yeah stole health so this this shield has absorb on it i just got really lucky um but yeah so basically when you block with an absorb shield it's kind of like the vampire uh, perk on weapons where it just it gives you health after you block rather than after you hit so that's freaking awesome um, even though it should have just been the case in the first place that was a bug that's just been around since basically the game's been around but yeah no they've they've been doing a really good job with bugs and fixing stuff and yeah I guess I'll return to the outpost actually I'll, I'll stick around in here um, I'm going to, give me one second, I'm going to pull up Discord, do a little cut here, and actually going to change the visuals down, go into Discord. Okay, I might cut. Where is it? It's up here still. Okay, I might not cut because I might, I'm going to minimize this, and let's see if I can just go straight to Discord and not dox myself or anything like that, but... 
Okay, we load the Discord. This is kind of annoying where loading up the web browser just takes this long to do, I guess, because it's got all these immersive and tabs and stuff, but it's just a browser. You should be able to just instantly pop it up, or almost instantly, or maybe it's like running in the background just barely, and then you pop it up whenever you want to, but whatever. I guess I can also like run around while I'm waiting for that to load, and oh, that was weird. Yeah, so I can run around and then if I point at it and like scroll I can do that while I'm in the game which is interesting open discord here we go this is where I dox myself but here we go into the dungeons of the eternity perfect so yeah here we are um, again I can kinda do this so this is cool I can be in the game while still scrolling and looking at things and I can even I can make this bigger can I yeah, yeah. so I can make this bigger or I can make it smaller, like whatever. However I want to read it, I want to read it pretty big, so I'm making it big. Can I do a little zoom in here, maybe? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Perfect, okay. Maybe one more zoom, two more zoom. That's actually amazing, okay. Great, so we got this Dungeons of Eternity Halloween sandbox. I'm gonna go into game so I can walk around even though it's not really useful at this moment. Um, this update marks blah 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 one year anniversary so I, I know uh, I'm gonna recommend here Cayman Wolf he made a video just going over the review notes check that out if you haven't already I'm do, gonna do the same real quick this will be my first time doing it but um yeah so spooky Halloween themed outpost uh, we got the witch's brew special item that randomly spawns we went over that sandbox arena went over that spears you can stab and attack from distance by throwing it it's the first weapon that you can throw from your back viably you could throw i mean you can basically throw anything but nothing has auto aim or is kind of meant to throw from your back so it's cool that spears can now do that uh new cosmetics available uh the sandstorm themed outfit i just went over that and the uh purchasable themed con cosmetics are really cool. I highly recommend checking those out, maybe buying one of your favorite or uh, just everything if you really love Dungeons of Eternity. Game balancing, uh, reduced bat speed and damage. I think I went over that with Quaker X, more comfortable hand poses. That is huge for magic staff weapons, but also for the long sword. Um, it says poses, kind of different verbiage, but it's the same thing. And it allows reverse grip, which is freaking awesome. Um, I'm probably going to make a whole video on just longsword and how it got better and how people can use it better, but that's cool. Magic staffs, longswords, also spears get the same update, but uh, it's just, it's always been like that for spears because spears came out when this update happened. So that's probably why they did the update too, possibly, but improved longsword, double-handed mechanics. That is very nice. I don't know exactly what that is, but from what it seems it's gotten better and maybe that's like the fact that you can parry enemies enemies now is, is pretty cool numerous new or improved sound effects uh factions to the enemy ai for future improvements that is really exciting uh factions don't exactly know what that means right now but setting up for the future is awesome uh, skeleton character visuals oh maybe that means that you can have like your uh you can have teammates as the ai that would be pretty cool um Skeleton character visuals, cool. Soul Harvest, uh, loot chests, all that good stuff. Many new dungeon chambers, um, pre-order purchased content, avatar customizer, now tagged with new to help you locate what you just found. So I've, I found all the new stuff, so I don't didn't have any of that to show you, but whenever you find new stuff, it's gonna show you, and that's pretty cool. New improved cosmetics uh, to the avatar UI, new attack and hit reactions, improved visuals, soundscape, that's pretty cool. Dynamic lighting, react. Okay, th this is huge. The enemies react now when a thrown weapon hits their weapon and when the longsword hits their weapon. I don't know if they put that in the notes, but that's a thing. Reduced grab radius and for the crossbow, secondary hand pose, cool. Uh, projectile shooting enemies, less accurate in the leading player when aiming. Um, okay, okay, improved impact particles against soft-bodied bodied enemies, zombies and imps, etc. Uh, hand poses on torch, fixed semi-auto bow, arrow exploit, that's awesome. So, I mean, just a balance change. Even though it's not a competitive game, it is nice to see that you can't exploit stuff as easily. 
Uh, shield per perk is working now. Lower tier axes doing excessive amounts of damage. Interesting. Volume levels on the crossbow. <laughs> That's very nice because that can be really annoying when people are spamming reload crossbows. Uh, definitely still needs a change for... Well, I, I personally think the cross reload crossbow needs a change. Um, that's kind of like a, a debatable topic there. But uh, fixed AOE damage, not crediting players with kills. I went over that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, axes and spears doing zero damage when they stuck into the enemy. Interesting. Good, good fix. Spear swords, axes, not being able to stab into attacking jumping enemies. That's a, just like making the game more clean. That's awesome. Fix an issue causing an unnecessary level of detail changes on quest 3 plus. Okay. Fix variety key spawns. And it's fun, funny now they have to say 3 plus because of the 3S. I didn't really get into it, but 3S is freaking awesome. Uh, I don't ha have one personally, but I think it's just great for the industry. Um, fix various key spawns. Fix various loot spawns. Report issues with dungeon chambers. Oh, I clicked into it, so now I'm not in the game. Okay, well, uh, fixed AI sliding between dungeons, blink teleport, various issues, skeleton dodging arrows, turning in place. Okay, yeah, that, that was an annoying bug. Glad they fixed that. Uh, visual effects after an enemy's death. That's like, that was also kind of annoying, but interesting. Beam traps, uh, poison weapons doing damage. All this good stuff. Um, oh man, that is just like a ton. I, I don't think I can go all over, over all that. But I think the more important stuff was near the top and the bottom stuff. Bomb exploit was also something that's kind of cool that they fixed. Um, all this good stuff. Enemies turning f turning while frozen. I mean, we can kind of turn while frozen, so it kind of makes sense that they can, but whatever. Uh, loot placement, blah, blah, blah. Mystify perk not working for all projectile shooting enemies. Okay, interesting. Save dungeons have been wiped. Uh, that's kind of a controversial thing that they do. I think it's a great thing so that people can't just like spam the same dungeon or rerun the same dungeons and just grind and make this game kind of boring. It's fun to have new dungeons that you have to go to, um, but yeah, it's debatable. Uh, preview of the paid cosmetics. Yeah, that's awesome stuff. I already went over it. So yeah, really cool update overall. Um, I've definitely seen the the initial reception was really good for the, by the players that really love this game, and then shortly after that, um, it seems I, I guess like around now it, it seems like people are are realizing like oh there's other features that I really wanted and I didn't get yet, and now I just I really we we gotta have these features like offline mode that's one of them that I still think they're gonna come out with offline mode it'll just be maybe the next update with PC VR because um, they, they still have the roadmap. The roadmap doesn't end until the end of the winter. So not even the end of 2024, but the end of winter. And then maybe they'll make another roadmap. Maybe they'll take a little break. I don't know. But I think they've been doing amazing with the roadmap that they've done so far. Um, I don't know about you guys overall. I think most people think that way. But I have seen like a couple reviews on the Quest Store and just people complaining in chats and whatever forums online uh, that there's missing features that they feel like they were promised and they don't have yet, like four player, multiplayer, just just those those random things that shouldn't really matter that much. But to some people, it matters a ton, and that's maybe why they don't have the game, like PC VR. But all in all, great update. Uh, I hope this kind of covered what I haven't really covered yet. And again, I'll, I'll get more into probably long swords at some point and uh, bows at some point with like, I don't know, shooting enemies and making them stunned and stuff like that. Because uh, that, that's another thing I didn't even show that bows, you can shoot the bows now or the arrows at enemies. And if it hits the weapon, kind of like how if, the, uh, if you hit the weapon with a long sword, it stuns them. So pretty awesome stuff. Um, that's probably it. Uh, I, I basically have to head out now and I hope you enjoyed. I think I covered most of it. Leave a comment below what you think of the update uh, after playing it for a little bit, or if you haven't played it yet, let me know what you, what's holding you back from doing it or whatever else. Um, I would like to see in the comments below. I'm very active in the comments. So let me know. And I will hopefully catch you in the next one. Peace out.